Shalom to everyone. Um, I'm going to come with a quick video here. Um, I would guess I would call this uh, discrimination. I guess that's a good title. Uh, and I'm going to kind of like give it a subtitle. Beards. Okay. Of course, you all see I have a beard. It's about, let me see if I can get in the frame here better. It's about three inches long. All right. So a person asked me today, hey, you thought about trimming when you want to trim your beard? It didn't make me angry, but you know, I, I've heard this stuff before, but it gave me an idea of a video to put up. And th those of our brothers that have this issue, maybe on a few people that they work with, may ask them the same question. There's nothing wrong with that because I'm very down to earth. I talk to anybody. Nothing can hurt me. Okay, so it doesn't. I don't worry about human. Okay, human nature doesn't. Flesh doesn't bother me. You know, most people are crying out like a baby anyway for information, and so I just kind of like ignore ignorance. But when you hear um, ignorant statements, uh, you, you you don't supposed to just lash out on, at people uh, or brawl. What you do is just you understand that they don't know and and that's a time for you to teach all right so basically um most of the time people will label me as a muslim when they see the beard uh they do that based on lack of knowledge ignorance so not understanding that being that being a Hebrew Israelite predates uh, the the belief of Islam anyway, because Islam is a religion. Being a Hebrew Israelite is a nationality of people. Hebrew is the language that the Israelites speak. So by short, you can call us Hebrews. Okay. Uh, you have China; they speak Chinese. So it's just the discipline of the dialect okay so one moment what I want to get into hopefully this is real quick is uh, when people label you you know our brothers and sisters because I'm going to get into some information on the sisters they will label the sisters with head wraps following Islam okay these are very unlearned ignorant statements all right and it's okay you can teach the person what you believe in and if they don't accept it then wipe the dust off your feet all right um, <clears throat> if you brothers uh, have issues with this you can forward this Facebook it or whatever you all do, Twitter and Tweety or whatever. I don't know the stuff y'all be doing. You can forward this video and show them this. Uh, we don't need to trim our beards. Um, the sisters don't need to take their head wraps off. Uh, we follow uh, mainly the, the Levitical dietary laws and the grooming law, okay, based on. We, you know, we don't need to be trimming our hair, cutting it off and all that, shaving it using razors. The other nations do that. All right. And I'm going to go into a scripture in a few minutes, but I just want to uh, give you some some more information. On, let's say when you go into the ghetto areas, you would notice by default. Um, the regular layman or laity don't even realize our people in the ghettos like the dreads and the, 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 the full beards that everyone you notice growing their beards out and it's your younger crowd uh, and that's what amazes me the younger crowd the people say well it's just a fad or whatever but any way you look at it it's a bloodline fad <laughs> alright um, if you all remember the movie it was a comical movie uh uh, I forgot the name of I think it was Noah or something or Bruce Almighty I'm not sure I think that's what it was comical one when 
he was a congressman and the congressman it was a Jewish guy that was playing the part of course and he was uh, called from Ohio or in the movie God to build this ark and his hair started growing all over the place his, you know his hair started coming out he started looking like Noah uh, and it was a time where he had a presentation and he was trying to hide it the whole time. It was pretty funny. He was trying to, <laughs> and it's a subliminal, and people don't really realize it, how they do us in movies, okay? Uh, when I say us, I'm talking about the Israelites, the, the tribe, the 12 tribes of Israel. All right. Um, when they were, he was a congressman, and he was trying to hide his true identity around the other people. Are y'all understanding what I'm saying? And, you know, he was kind of, trying to put clothes over his 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 garment but it wouldn't fit you, you see this subliminal parable stereogram uh, black people Hebrews the, the Native American Indians all the 12 tribes really don't fit but are the ones were oppressed and I'm going to go back on this movie. Then you notice in the movie when he, it was time for him to, to cut his hair off and groom himself. They took him out of the frame and he back. Boom. He had all his hair back. And what that show was, you take the Israelites out of the frame for a while. But as they come back, they're going to look like their foreparents. They're going to look, you're going to see our people rising all over the place. Because now we are back in the frame. The attention now is back on these people. At first we were lost. But now we're found. So these subliminal messages, messages through movies should teach our people on a parable level who they are. Because we know Noah wasn't no Jewish man. Noah was just as black as me. Okay. Oh, you're a racist. You're a racist. Nah, I'm not racing for anything. The race is already won. Let me just use it that way. Because I am i don't like to hear something that's racist. When you got Caesar Borgia as Christ, some European up on a cross as Christ, that's racist. When you, you, when you take a, a child's Bible and flip through it and see all the images, they're all white, even the angels. But we're racist? No, this is truth, okay? Anyway, let me go back to the real top. Now, this so-called guy in the movie uh, playing Noah, he builds the ark, okay? And I just wanted to show an example how he was cutting his hair off and it grew right back out while he come out of the frame and he was doing this and it just popped right back out because this generation now just by default is going to just follow that bloodline and I'm just going to show I'm going to use me as an example since, since I have a beard and since this uh, I was confronted with this today uh, have you thought about trimming it or <laughs> no so as you see my beard is pretty lengthy of course it's around three about three inches long. Now, before I even knew that I was Hebrew, I was growing my beard in 1999, even though it was a little thinner then, uh, but it was it was still kind of lengthy. Back in two, I mean, excuse me, 1998, 1999, I started growing my lengthy. So we're going to follow our full parents, even though a lot of us were trying to look like the other nations, shaping their ball and their head, shaving it up and using razors and balling our heads off and all that. OK, trying to fit in. You go to a job interview, you got to fit in, but you know you're feeling uncomfortable. That's what it represented in the movie 
uh, the comical movie, uh, I think it was Bruce Almighty, or you all know what I'm talking about, uh, when he built, built the Ark and he had to, he was trying to be at work, but he felt itchy and he tried to put the other garment on, but it didn't fit. He didn't fit in. We don't fit in. We try to look like the other nations, but we don't fit in. They're supposed to be trying to look like us. Now, let me go to a scripture. And I'm almost done. Let's go to Leviticus chapter 19, verse 27. Leviticus 19, 27. Ye shall not round the corners of your heads, neither shalt thou mar the corners of thy beard. Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh. So that that eliminates your tattoos because that's what your tattoos represent. That's why you see rest in peace and a dead person on someone's chest and all that. We don't suppose to exalt the dead. What can a dead man do for you? Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor print any marks upon you. I am the Lord. Don't even get an artificial tattoo. Well, it's just fake, but it says print because print can be removed. Even the other tattoos is a little, a little more of a hassle. But when it says, nor print any marks upon you, I am the Lord thy God. It's talking about cutting your, you know, our sisters cutting their eyebrow all the way off and then using an artificial eyebrow. None of that. That's all for the dead. You mark and put makeup on a corpse. That's where it's come from. Okay? And I'm not, like I said, I don't want to make a video. Eventually, I'll let Sister Gordon teach about the makeup. But I'm not dealing with it. I let the sister deal with that. Now, let's go to Leviticus chapter 21, verse 5. Leviticus 21 and 5 says, They shall not make baldness upon their head, neither shall they shave off the corners of their beard nor make any cuttings in their flesh. They shall be holy unto their God and not profane. So it is profane and it's not holy for the Hebrew Israelites, for the Hebrews, for the tribe of Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Asher, Naphtali, uh, all the tribes, okay, to deal with shaving the book beard corners and all that. The other nations do that. OK, so we're going to follow our heritage by default. We're going to want to. It's something that our bloodline runs. This is, uh, you know, a hieroglyphic uh, carving that you see here in ancient Egypt or I mean, excuse me, the land of Canaan. Okay, this is uh, on one of the, uh, you can find this in, in the pyramids. And you notice that he have the, the so-called looking band. We call it today the bandana, but it's, it's a wrap uh, to hold his, uh, his, his dreads back. And if you look at, you know, like I said, I was doing this since 1999. I didn't even know why I liked that look. You see, I had the same beard. <laughs> and that's why when I seen this picture, and I seen uh, years ago, about a few years ago, I seen a picture like this. I'm like, whoa, this is, you know, look like me. <laughs> and, um, you know, we got to realize who we are. Um, so-called black man, y'all gotta we gotta wake up, man. Seriously, um, I'm just using me as an example, man. Uh, we're gonna have to wake up. You know, we've been lied to as people. We're not African Americans, man. We're not two continents, bro. That don't make sense, man. Seriously, think about it. We we're not two continents, man. All right, we just have to be down to earth, man, bro. We're the children of Israel. We're from the seed of Jacob. Right, so and the sisters continue to keep your hair covered. It's beautiful anyway. Um, you know, if you if you're in the in the scriptures and you know, keep your hair covered. If not, keep the bush, keep the you know the dreads or whatever. It's it's beautiful. Don't let people make you feel that you need a perm in your hair and all that. 
That's garbage. All it's going to do is make you sick and give you some kind of brain tumor or give you some kind of skin cancer or something. All those chemicals they use, you might as well be natural. Thank the Most High for your natural hair. Brothers, thank the Most High that you got a beard. Don't cut it. You keep shaving off your beard and all that. You're going to get boils all on your skin. People got all these rashes, bumps sticking all out. We're the ones that get all that. We don't supposed to cut our hair to the dead. I mean, cut our hair as the other nations have done. They do that. We don't supposed to deal with that. We're supposed to teach them not to do it. We are people of law and honor. The scripture said that we are holy. And it's profane not to do it. And it's, excuse me, it's profane to cut your hair. That you have it. All right. I'll be making more videos, of course. Um, I would like to thank all of the subscribers. Um, I'm at about 1,200, I believe. Um, I love all of you. Uh, that's truth. Even the ones that's, that talk, even the, the negative comment guy, people, I'll subscribe. You know, I'm going to love you anyway. You feel what I'm saying? I, I'm not going to, I'm not, I don't make videos to feel, you know, to make people feel bad or I'm a racist. Nah, uh -uh. I'm going to speak truth though. Truth hurts sometimes. But a lot of the people that come against the videos, if you're a European, you already know. Don't act like you don't. Don't don't even do that. But I guess you got to play your role, though. But anyway, I'll be making more videos. This is my life, and I'll be doing this for the rest of it. Shalom.